I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye-bye. to the whole thing? Did I do good? <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. I told them it's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with mom or dad. Who do you think I should pick? Yeah, I love my dad. He always buys me toys and stuff. Mom cries all the time now. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. Oh! If I go with Mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore! It's no fair! 
I miss you too much. You better get home. Hey, will you hold my hand on the way home? Yes? What is it? So dance, if you want to go ahead, we can do whatever I'm showing you my bed. I'm on him. I never feel like it's miserable. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Marvelous. Shame. 
Very well, then. Welcome back. Precisely. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now.
Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Oh my! <laughs> you have my thanks. Well then. Be careful out there. What'd you bring? How many? You're handing that? Sure. It's how many are you selling? You're handing that? All right. How many? Sure enough. Sure. It's a deal. You gotta tell no. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. I never feel like Fancy today and adding an egg to my order. Whew, that hit the spot. You get a lot of bang for your buck here. Man, I can't remember the last time I had such a fresh egg. Maybe I should get some for them too. No, I meant my siblings. Uh, for them, actually. I'll look after them. Our apartment's pretty small, though, so we're packed like sardines. There's never a dull moment. You want to come over sometime? Might be fun, as long as the floor doesn't collapse. But you know, back then, it was a lot more... I never mentioned this, but... My father died five years ago. We were told his car fell off a cliff. I'm not fishing for sympathy or anything. I, I just thought you should know. Whoa, it's already this late? The preschool's gonna be letting out soon. See ya.
Sheesh, this is a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You'd think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so... boring. Hmm? What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. for Koromaru-san's solo patrol duty, commonly known as El Guac. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. Maru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? My current mission is to remain on standby at the dormitory. I'm afraid I'm fully occupied at the moment. I must also request your assistance. human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. 
However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? We don't serve any particular grand purpose. Had you simply stayed your hands, we could have avoided a needless confrontation. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? And just where did you come up with that idea? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. Hello.